former Oklahoma City police officer Daniel Holtzclaw reacting to his conviction. This is back in 2015, ultimately sentenced to more than 200 years in prison. Holtzclaw convicted after 13 women accused him of rape and sexual assault. Holtzclaw says he's innocent. And now one of those accusers has changed her story. News Force Jessica Bruno is live at the Pardon and Parole Board. And Jessica, the board denying Holtzclaw's request for parole today. Yeah, Kevin and Jolene, this was a unanimous vote by the board, and it comes just one day after Holtzclaw's team released a deposition from back in 2018, where, as you said, one of his accusers dramatically changes her story. How many times did Holtzclaw uh, touch you inappropriately? He didn't touch me. In this video released by former Oklahoma City police officer Daniel Holtzclaw's legal team over the weekend, Tabitha Barnes, one of 13 women who accused him of sexual assault in 2014, changing her testimony. So this is a mistake. Um, he did not touch me. Holtzclaw was convicted of 18 of the 36 counts brought against him, including four counts of first-degree rape and four counts of forced oral sodomy. Prosecutors said Holtzclaw targeted victims in Oklahoma City's poorest communities based on their criminal histories, assuming that would undermine any allegations they brought against him. But he claims he's innocent. Why should he be in prison for something that he did not do, when, especially when the woman is admitting that Daniel never touched her? Jennifer Holtzclaw, Daniel's sister, was hoping the state pardon and parole board would look at that interview with Barnes when considering his request for parole on Monday morning. But in a unanimous vote, denied. the board denied the request, keeping him from moving on to the next step in the process. It's upsetting just because they should have reviewed it for what it is. The woman clearly states Daniel never touched her. Touched her. She stated it multiple times. Jennifer also says they believe he had an unfair trial judge because his judge, Tim Henderson, has since resigned from the bench due to a sexual relationship he had with a prosecutor. Several convicted felons recently filed requests for new trials because their cases involved both Henderson and that prosecutor. However, Holtzclaw had a different prosecutor at trial. But in a statement, Holtzclaw said, I upheld my oath of office by protecting and serving my community while Judge Henderson was allegedly abusing women and violating his oath. We're all continuing to fight for him. Um, you know, we, we just hope that one day that um, Daniel's given the chance to clear his name. And Holtzclaw will once again be eligible to apply for parole next year in February. Reporting live in Northeast Oklahoma City, Jessica Bruno, Oklahoma's News 4.